What is the world's longest freshwater lake? Lake Tanganyika is 420 miles, 676 kilometers, long, the longest freshwater lake in the world. But it's only between 10 and 45 miles, 16 to 72 kilometers, wide. It lies on the border between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Tanzania. It is also the world's second deepest lake, with a maximum depth of 4,710 feet, 1,436 meters. Who is Nelson Mandela? Nelson Mandela is a South African leader who was the head of the African National Congress and its armed resistance group, Umkhonto We Size We. This group fought against the apartheid policies of South Africa. Mandela spent 27 years imprisoned on Robben Island for his political activities. Upon his release in 1990, Mandela asserted a policy of reconciliation and negotiation to end the racist policies of apartheid. He was the first fully representative, democratically elected president of South Africa. Serving as head of state from 1994 to 1999, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his work in 1993. What are the most polluted cities in the world in terms of air quality? The most severe air pollution can be found in the following cities, Cairo, Egypt, Delhi, India, Kolkata, India, Tianjin, China, Chongqing, China. Kanpur, India, Lucknow, India, Jakarta, Indonesia, and Shenyang, China. Why are we losing groundwater? Water is pumped from aquifers around the world for irrigation, industrial, and household needs. Aquifers do not refill as rapidly as water is being pumped out. So in many areas there is a danger that some aquifers may disappear altogether. Who was one of the great African-American explorers? Matthew Henson, an African-American born in 1866, joined Peary's first Arctic expedition and spent seven years there, covering more than 9,000 miles. Henson arrived at the North Pole 45 minutes ahead of expedition leader Peary. And he actually is the first person to find and stand on the North Pole. When were the first clocks made? Around 3500 B. CE clocks began to appear in a variety of cultures. 
most notably in Sumeria in what is now the Middle East. What is the largest shopping mall in terms of gross leasable area? The South China Mall in Dongguan, China has more than 6.5 million square feet, 600,000 square meters, of leasable space. It is the largest shopping mall in the world in terms of total area. Consisting of 9.6 million square feet, 890,000 square meters. What is the world's largest lake? The Caspian Sea, which is really a lake, is the largest lake in the world. It is surrounded by Russia, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Iran. And Azerbaijan and is over 143,200 square miles, 370,888 square kilometers, in area. The second largest lake, Lake Superior in North America, is a mere 31,700 square miles, 82,103 square kilometers. How can an area be lower than sea level? Land in the midst of a continent can be lower than sea level because the land is not close enough to the sea to be flooded with water. Movement of the tectonic plates pushes areas like the Dead Sea in. Israel and Death Valley in California to elevations lower than sea level. What is the highest point in the world? At 29,035 feet, 8,850 meters, the highest point above sea level in the world is MT. Everest, which lies on the border of China and Nepal, is MT. What is ANZUS? In 1951, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States signed the Australia-New Zealand-United States ANZUS, Treaty to Protect Each Other Militarily. In 1986, New Zealand banned nuclear weapons from its country and thereafter refused to allow U.S. nuclear-powered or nuclear-armed ships to dock in its harbours. New Zealand was summarily excluded from the treaty. Who was Muhammad? The Prophet Muhammad was the founder of Islam. He was born in Mecca in 571 and fled to Medina later in life. According to the Islamic religion, he received prophecies from God, which were subsequently written in the Quran. 
the holy book of Islam. Muhammad's death in 632 CE led to the expansion of Islam around Eurasia. What is the population of the United States? The U. S. population is approximately 304 million people, with one person being born every seven seconds. One person dying every 13 seconds, and one international migrant arriving every 30 seconds. Yielding a net gain of one new person every 11 seconds. What is the highest point in the United States? Alaska's MT. McKinley, also known as Denali, is the highest point in the United States at 20,320 feet, 6,194 meters. In the contiguous 48 states, the highest point is California's MT. Whitney at 14,495 feet, 4,418 meters, which is less than 100 miles, 161 kilometers. From North America's lowest point, Death Valley, 282 feet 86 meters below sea level. In which direction do ships sail through the Panama Canal? Though you would expect them to travel east from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean when sailing through the Panama Canal. Ships actually travel northwest. Since the Isthmus of Panama lies parallel to the equator. The canal does not lie east-west but rather northwest-southeast. Where is the Kalahari Desert? The Kalahari Desert covers much of Botswana and Namibia. The Kalahari Desert is one of the largest deserts in the world, over 100,000 square miles. 259,000 square kilometers, and lies on a high plateau at 3,000 feet, 914 meters. Is Australia the smallest continent? Despite being the sixth largest country in the world, Australia is the smallest continent in the world. Australia is approximately 3 million square miles. 7.8 million square kilometers, in area, just a little smaller than Brazil. How has GIs revolutionized cartography? Geographic Information Systems GIs, began in the 1960s with the popularity of computers. Though very simplistic in its beginning. New technology and inventions have expanded and enhanced the functions of GIs. 
GIS has revolutionized cartography by using computers to store, analyze, and retrieve geographic data, thus allowing infinite numbers of comparisons to be made quickly. The program formulates information into various layers, such as the location of utility lines, sewers, property boundaries, and streets. These layers can be placed together in a multitude of combinations to create a plethora of maps. Unique and suitable to each individual query. The versatility of GIs makes it indispensable to local governments and public agencies. How many businesses are started each year in the United States? Each year, more than 600,000 new companies are started in America. Joining the more than 24.7 million companies that make the American economy the largest in the world. Most companies, 99.9%, .9 have fewer than 500 employees. Who was John Wesley Powell? Though he lost an arm in the Civil War. John Wesley Powell became one of the leading surveyors of the 19th century. In 1869, Powell explored the Grand Canyon. Traveling on a boat along the Colorado River. He faced dangerous rapids, hostile Native Americans, and weather extremes. In 1880, Powell was appointed the second director of the United States Geological Survey. What was the last Central American country to obtain its independence? In 1981, Belize, formerly known as British Honduras, became the last North American country to obtain independence. Which country had the world's first legislature? Though Iceland had been settled about 60 years earlier by the Norwegians. Iceland's parliament, the Althing, was created in 930 c. e. How do the people on the tiny islands in the southern Pacific Ocean go shopping? Most basic goods can be bought on each populated island, and larger items can be shipped via airplane. When residents need to travel between islands, they often take to the air. Each island has an airstrip of adequate length for its own transportation needs. In the past, inhabitants used boats as their primary means of transportation between islands. Where do the Great Lakes rank in terms of size?
Lake Superior is 31,700 square miles, 82,103 square kilometers, and is the world's largest freshwater lake. Lake Huron is 23,000 square miles, 59,570 square kilometers, and the third largest freshwater lake. Lake Michigan is 22,300 square miles, 57,757 square kilometers, and the fourth largest freshwater lake. Lake Erie is 9,900 square miles, 25,641 square kilometers, the world's tenth largest freshwater lake. And Lake Ontario, 7,300 square miles, 18,907 square kilometers, is the twelfth largest freshwater lake. What type of sand do we often see on beaches near volcanoes? Because of the content of the sediment near volcanoes comprised of dark black igneous rock. The resulting beach sand in such places as Hawaii and Indonesia is actually a dark brown, even black in color. What is the lowest point in the world on land? The world's lowest point is at the Dead Sea on the border of Israel and Jordan. It is 1,312 feet, 400 meters, below sea level. Why was the Prime Meridian established at Greenwich? In 1675, the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England, was established to study determination of longitude. In 1884, an international conference established the Prime Meridian. As the longitudinal line that passes through the Royal Observatory. The United Kingdom and United States had been using Greenwich. As the prime meridian for several decades before the conference. What is Nunavut? Nunavut, Canada's third territory, whose capital is Iqaluit, is home to Canada's indigenous people, the Inuit. This new territory, which entered the Dominion in 1999, covers approximately one-fifth of Canada's land area, but contains less than 1% of Canada's population, with just over 29,000 people. How many active volcanoes are there in the world? There are about 1,500 active volcanoes around the world. Most are located in the ring of fire surrounding the Pacific Ocean. About one-tenth of the world's active volcanoes are located in the United States. A volcano is considered active if it has erupted in the last 10,000 years.
Is it safe to stand in a doorway during an earthquake? While a doorway is a nice, structurally sound place to be during an earthquake. Officials have found that many people are injured when a door swings open and closed during an earthquake. So you may want to avoid standing in a place where your fingers can become crushed. What was Levittown? The three Levittowns were large housing developments built. From the mid-1940s through the early 1960s by William J. Levitt and his construction company. Levitt invented a process to mass-produce homes by making each home exactly the same. The first Levittown was located in New York and consisted of 17,000 homes. The subsequent Levittowns were built in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Levittowns were the forerunner of the suburb. Why are the Missouri-Mississippi rivers lumped together? Actually, the Missouri River was incorrectly named. The Missouri River is actually the main feeder river of what is now known as the Mississippi River. Usually, the main feeder bears the same name as the rest of the river. Therefore, the full length of the Mississippi River, including the Missouri River, is known as the Missouri-Mississippi River. How many African countries were independent in 1950? In 1950 there were only four independent countries on the continent. Egypt, South Africa, Ethiopia, and Liberia. All other countries gained their independence in the decades that followed. Most recently, Eritrea became independent of Ethiopia in 1993. When was the last interstate highway built? The construction of new interstate highways came to an end in 1993 with the opening of Interstate 105, the Century Freeway. In Los Angeles, 37 years after construction began on the system. The Century Freeway is an intercity route connecting the coastal community of El Segundo to Interstates 405, 110, 710, and finally 605 in Norwalk. How long is Chile? Chile stretches approximately 2,700 miles, 4,344 kilometers, along the western coast of South America. At its widest it is only 100 miles, 161 kilometers, across. 
Chile is a classic example of an elongated country, which makes governing difficult. How much of the Earth is usually covered by clouds? At any given time, about one half of the planet is covered by clouds. What is a turnpike? A turnpike is a toll road. In the late 18th century, private companies in the United States and in the United Kingdom built roads and charged users to pass. Beginning in the 1840s, turnpikes had to compete for traffic, and thus profits, with the railroads. The name turnpike is still common on toll highways in the eastern United States. Such as the New Jersey Turnpike, the Massachusetts Turnpike, and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. What is the least densely populated country in the world? Mongolia, not to be confused with Inner Mongolia, which is a province in northern China. With its tiny population of 2.6 million people spread over 600,000 square miles, 1,554,000 square kilometers. Of territory, has a population density of about 4 people per square mile. Why can I hear an AM radio station from hundreds of miles away at night but not during the day? At night, AM radio waves bounce off of a layer of the ionosphere, the F layer, and can travel hundreds, if not thousands, of miles from their source. During the day, the same reflection of radio waves cannot occur because the D layer of the ionosphere is present and it absorbs radio waves. What is a sundial? A sundial is an instrument that uses the sun to measure time. A sundial consists of an angled marker, called a gnomon, that casts a shadow on a plate, called a dial plane. On the dial plane there are marks indicating the hours of the day. During the day, as the sun moves across the sky, the shadow from the gnomon moves across the dial plane, indicating the hour. Sundials were used to measure time before clocks and watches were invented. Who was Che Guevara? Ecobedo Che Guevara, 1928-1967, was an Argentine Marxist revolutionary, physician, author, and guerrilla leader. He formed his political ideas after seeing the extreme poverty in Latin America. 
believing that the cause was economic inequality due to monopolistic capitalism, neocolonialism, and imperialism. He was instrumental in helping Cuba's Fidel Castro overthrow the U.S. backed dictator Fulgencio Batista. Which countries are surrounded entirely by landlocked countries? The two countries surrounded entirely by landlocked countries are Uzbekistan and Liechtenstein. Uzbekistan is surrounded by the landlocked countries of Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Turkmenistan. Liechtenstein is bordered by Switzerland and Austria, neither of which have access to the ocean. Why has Afghanistan been contested and invaded so many times? Afghanistan sits at a crossroads linking Asia with the Middle East. For millennia, it was the major transit point along the Silk Road, which brought goods from Asia to and from the Middle East. In recent times, it has been treated as a geographically strategic location. Because of its potential for influencing the policies of countries in both regions, it is an ethnically diverse region that is home to many tribes and cultures. All of whom have been vying for some form of control or voice in the way in which the country is governed. Therefore, in the past several hundred years, major geopolitical players have sought to control, occupy, or colonize this country. Much of what we see happening in Afghanistan today has roots in conflicts dating back many centuries. How many religions have holy sites in Jerusalem? Judaism, Islam, and Christianity all regard Jerusalem as a very holy city. The Western Wall, the remaining wall of the Second Temple, is the holiest site in Judaism. Islam's third holiest site is the Dome of the Rock and the Mosque, both located in Jerusalem. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is a holy Christian site. What is the best shape for a country? Though countries come in various shapes for various reasons, the best shape for a country is compact. A compact country, such as Germany or France, is easier to govern than those that are fragmented, such as Indonesia, or elongated, such as Chile. Compact countries are easier to govern because transportation, communication, and inter-NAL security are easier to maintain. Also, compact countries have shorter borders to protect. Elongated and fragmented countries are more easily divided and conquered. What is an economic tiger?
An economic tiger is a term applied to any rapidly developing Asian nation with the power and ability to become an influential, international economic powerhouse. South Korea, Taiwan, and Singapore are considered to be the three economic tigers. Hong Kong was once part of this Pacific Rim group, but since its merger with China, it can no longer be considered an economic tiger. What was Mesopotamia? This ancient region lay between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. From contemporary southern Turkey to the Persian Gulf. Mesopotamia was the home, at one time or another, to such civilizations as Babylonia, Assyria, and Sumer. Which natural disasters doesn't Southern California experience? While urban Southern California is plagued by earthquakes, wildfires, floods, landslides, and tornadoes, yes, even tornadoes, they rarely receive snowstorms or hurricanes. What is the most dangerous state to live in due to tornadoes? Massachusetts is considered the most dangerous state to live in due to tornadoes. While Oklahoma receives far more tornadoes than Massachusetts does. The population density and risk of death or severe injury is greater in the New England state. Which Hawaiian island was once a leper colony? On the island of Molokai in Hawaii, Authorities established a secluded leper colony on an inaccessible cove. Its founder, Father Damien, served and cared for the inhabitants. He eventually died of the disease and the Catholic Church made him a saint for his work. What is a tributary? Any stream that flows into another stream is a tributary. Most major rivers have hundreds of tributaries, which on a map look like branches of a tree. One classification system of rivers is based upon the number of tributaries a river has. Is the Black Sea really black? No, it is not. This sea, located to the north of Turkey, is quite deep and has darker looking water than most water bodies. But receives its name from the inhospitableness of the waters for sailing. How long does it take to travel by train across Russia?
depending on the number of stops the train makes. It can take anywhere from 5 to 8 days to travel across Russia. Ticket prices can be anywhere from $500 to more than $10,000. Which allows for the most pampered class of service. Train lines end in Irkutsk, Beijing, China and even Vladivostok, along the eastern Pacific coast. How does the boiling point of water help determine altitude? The boiling point of water at sea level is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling point drops about 1 degree for every 500 foot, 152 meter, increase in altitude. Therefore, in Denver, at 5,280 feet, 1,609 meters, above sea level. Denver is called the Mile High City because there are 5,280 feet in a mile, water boils at about 202 degrees. The change in the boiling point is why cooking instructions are modified for higher altitudes. What is the significance of the San Andreas Fault? The infamous San Andreas Fault is the border between the North American and the Pacific tectonic plates. This fault lies in California and is responsible for some of the major earthquakes that occur there. Los Angeles is on the Pacific Plate but San Francisco is on the North American Plate. The Pacific Plate is sliding northward with respect to the North American Plate and As a result, Los Angeles gets about half an inch closer to San Francisco every year. In a few million years, the two cities will be neighbors. Does Louisiana have counties? No. Louisiana is divided into 64 parishes rather than counties. These parishes are no different than counties, other than in name. The word parish comes from the parish system of the Catholic Church and thus shows the French and Catholic influence on Louisiana. What is the greenhouse effect? The greenhouse effect is a natural process of the atmosphere that traps some of the sun's heat near the earth. The problem with the greenhouse effect, however, is that it has been unnaturally increased, causing more heat to be trapped and the temperature on the planet to rise. The gases that have caused the greenhouse effect were added to the atmosphere. As a byproduct of human activities, especially combustion from automobiles. Are kangaroos native to Australia? Yes, kangaroos are native to Australia. 
Kangaroos range in size from giant kangaroos. 5 feet 1.5 meters tall, to tiny, rat-sized kangaroos, called potoroos. How does the hydrologic cycle work? The movement of water from the atmosphere to the land, rivers, oceans, and plants and then back into the atmosphere is known as the hydrologic cycle. We can pick an arbitrary point in the cycle to begin our examination. Water in the atmosphere forms clouds or fog and falls, precipitates, to the ground. Water then flows into the ground to nourish plants, or into streams that lead to rivers and then to oceans. Or it can flow into the groundwater, underground sources of water. Over time, water sitting in puddles, rivers, and oceans is evaporated into the atmosphere. Water in plants is transpired into the atmosphere. The process of water moving into the atmosphere is collectively known as evapotranspiration. Where does it rain the most? MT Waialeal, on the island Kauai in Hawaii, receives a whopping average of 472 inches. 1,200 centimeters, of rain a year that's over 39 feet 12 meters of rain per year. How did the Monroe Doctrine protect the Americas? In 1823, President James Monroe gave a speech that declared the Americas off-limits to European powers. These policies became known in the 1840s as the Monroe Doctrine. Since 1823, the United States has used the Monroe Doctrine not only to prevent intervention by Europeans but also to further its own expansionist goals. How many countries has the U.S.? What is the National Flood Insurance Program? The National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP, was established by the U. S. Federal Government in 1956 as a subsidized insurance program for home and business owners. The government began the program by creating flood insurance rate maps. Firm, showing the boundaries of 100-year and 500-year flood zones. The cost of the insurance is based on the flood risk. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, oversees the program and requires the purchase of flood insurance by any owner affected by a disaster before they can be provided with disaster assistance. This way, the next time a flood occurs, they will be insured. How many people are abducted and sold into slavery each year?
about 600,000 to 800,000 people, mostly women and children. Are trafficked across national borders each year and forced to work as virtual slaves. Millions more are trafficked within their own countries every year. 75% of these people are women who are used for sexual exploitation. About 280,000 of these people are sent to Asia. And another 210,000 people are trafficked to Europe and Russia. Many countries participate in human trafficking, both as accomplices in providing the people to abduct by not enforcing laws, or by allowing the people to enter their borders. Some of the biggest offenders include Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, Malaysia, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Ukraine, Russia, Moldova, Mexico, India, Egypt, and China. How much land disappears when the sea level rises? Scientists believe that as the sea water rises by 0.04 inches, 1 millimeter, the shoreline disappears by 4.9 feet, 1.5 meters. This means that if the sea level rises by 3.28 feet, 1 meter, the shorelines will extend another 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, inland. How widespread was the influenza pandemic of 1918? In 1918, a deadly flu spread quickly around the world. Within just two years, this influenza pandemic had sickened. Over a billion people and killed more than 21 million. Half a million people died in the United States alone. What are some of the world's most active volcanoes, in terms of numbers of years of eruptions? The volcanoes that have been active the most number of years include MT. Etna in Italy, 3,500 years, MT Stromboli in Italy, 2,000 years, and MT Yasur in Vanuatu, 800 years. What is an aquifer? An aquifer is an underground collection of water that is surrounded by rock. The creation and filling of an aquifer is a very slow process. As it relies upon water to percolate through the soil and rock layers and into the aquifer. An aquifer lies above a lower layer of rock that holds the water in place and keeps it from moving further underground. What is the Gregorian calendar? In addition to moving the calendar forward by 10 days in 1582, 
Pope Gregory XIII also corrected the error of the Julian calendar. He declared that years ending in 00 would not be leap years. Except those divisible by 400, such as the year 2000. The Julian calendar, with Pope Gregory's correction. Is known as the Gregorian calendar, which most of us use today. What type of rocks are formed from particles? Sedimentary rocks are formed by the accumulation and squeezing together of layers of sediment. Particles of rock or remains of plant and animal life, at the bottom of rivers, lakes and oceans or even on land. The continual accumulation of more and more layers of sediment places a great amount of pressure on the lowest layers of sediment and, over time, compresses them into rock. Has NAFTA helped trade between Canada, Mexico and the United States? Yes, from 1993 to 2007 trade between the NAFTA countries more than tripled. Rising from $290 billion to $930 billion. How did the bikini get its name? In 1946, the United States began to test atomic weapons on the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It was also in the late 1940s when the two-piece bathing suit made its debut and took its name from the intensely publicized Bikini Atoll. How do I get to the refrigerator in the dark? OT all maps are written on paper. When trying to reach the refrigerator at night, we do not smell our way to food. We use a map based on our memory of the room. If we stumble on our way, it is usually over a misplaced toy or shoe that we did not remember leaving there. Everyone has these kinds of maps in his or her mind. These mental maps help you find your way not only to the refrigerator in the dark, but also to the grocery store and to work. People not only have mental maps of common trips they make, but also of their city, country, and even the world. Every person's mental map is unique. Based on how wide an area that person travels and their knowledge of the world. What is brain drain? When highly educated or highly skilled individuals leave their home countries to go to countries where opportunities are better, the home country experiences brain drain. This occurs especially in Asian countries, as highly educated Asians move to the United States, Canada, 
and Australia for higher paying jobs. Can you ski in the Middle East? Yes, you can ski in the Middle East. Since many parts are mountainous. Thousands of people ski in such places as Dizan and Shemshak, Iran, and in Faria, Lebanon. People can even ski in Dubai, along the coast of the Persian Gulf. Where each year thousands enjoy skiing in one of the largest indoor ski facilities in the world. What is the dart array? DART stands for the Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunami Array. Which consists of 39 buoys that float in critical spots in the Pacific. Each DART system consists of an anchored seafloor bottom pressure recorder. VPR, and a companion moored surface buoy for real-time communications. An acoustic link transmits data from the BPR on the seafloor to the surface buoy. The BPR collects temperature and pressure at 15 second intervals. In normal mode, it transmits the data every 15 minutes. If there is an event, the system reports back data collected in 15 second intervals every minute. How many cities are in the United States? There are approximately 18,440 cities and towns in the United States. The vast majority of which have fewer than 25,000 people. When was the first flight achieved? In 1783 the Montgolfier brothers flew the first hot air balloon across Paris, France. What was the Ottoman Empire? The Ottoman Empire began as a tiny state in the 14th century. It was centered in the city of Bursa in what is now northeast Turkey. And it rapidly expanded through the conquest of neighboring states. Its greatest expansion was in the 16th century. When it included southeastern Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. How long did it take for the world population to double in size? From 1959 to 1999, the population went from 3 billion to over 6 billion. Who was at sea the Iceman? In 1991, two German tourists were hiking in the Itzal Alps, on the Italian side of the border between Italy and Austria. 
when they happened upon what appeared to be a corpse buried beneath the ice. Astounded, they alerted authorities. It was found that Itzi, as the body was named, was a 45-year-old traveler himself who was more than 5,300 years old. It was likely he faced what investigators believe was a violent death. On his body were more than 50 tattoos, jewelry, and weapons. All of which gave researchers clues into the lives of our Copper Age ancestors. Is the ozone layer being depleted? Scientists have recognized that a hole has developed in the ozone layer. A hole that has been growing since 1979. The hole is located over Antarctica and has been responsible. For increased ultraviolet radiation levels in Antarctica, Australia, and New Zealand. As the ozone hole grows, it will increase the amount of harmful ultraviolet light reaching the Earth, causing cancer and eye damage, and killing crops and microorganisms in the ocean. How important is China to the biodiversity in the world? China's territory covers 3,705,390 square miles, 9,596,960 square kilometers, of land. This vast expanse includes a wide diversity of wildlife. As well as 10% of the world's plants with stems, roots, and leaves. Therefore, China's policies for managing its natural resources are very important for the health of the planet. From where does the word fjord originate? The word fjord comes from the Norse language and means where you travel across. It is significant to early Norwegians as a place to travel. Across to get to the sea when there were no bridges available. How can GPS keep me from getting lost? A GPS unit provides precise latitude and longitude for the location of the device. By using a handheld GPS unit along with a map that provides latitude and longitude, such as a topographic map, you can determine your precise location on the Earth's surface. This is a valuable tool for those who hike or travel in remote regions and for ships at sea. GPS is now widely available in cars, as standalone, portable, pocket sized devices. On cell phones, and even on the boxes that ship products that you buy. In short, GPS is used in all aspects of our lives. What is a compass rose? On old maps, 
the directions of the compass were represented by an elaborate symbol, known as a compass rose. Many of the older compass roses displayed 32 points, representing not only the four cardinal directions. North, South, East, and West, but also 28 subdivisions of the circle, Southwest, South-Southwest, etc. This directional symbol resembled a rose, hence its name. Though compasses are now often drawn with only the four cardinal directions and the resemblance to the flower is minimal, the directional symbol is still called a compass rose. What was the intent of Magellan's expedition? Ferdinand Magellan left Europe in 1519 hoping to circumnavigate the globe. He succeeded in reaching the Philippines in 1521, where he was later killed by natives. Though five ships and 241 men left Europe on September 20, 1519, only one ship, the Victoria, returned to Spain with 18 men on September 6, 1522. Despite Ferdinand Magellan's death on April 27, 1521, during a war in the Philippines, the Magellan expedition successfully circumnavigated the globe. What is the Great Rift Valley? In eastern Africa there lies a deep valley known as the Great Rift Valley. Over 3,000 miles, 4,800 kilometers, in length and 20 to 60 miles, 32 to 97 kilometers. Wide, the rift spans the length of Africa and was formed by tectonic plates sliding apart. In 10 million years, eastern Africa will detach from the rest of Africa along this rift and form its own subcontinent. What are the largest Canadian urban areas? Toronto, 5.1 million people, Montreal, 3.6 million and Vancouver, 2.1 million, are Canada's largest urban areas. Which country produces the most gold? South Africa's gold mines yield 28% of the world's gold annually. In 1886, gold was first discovered in South Africa at the mines near Witwaters Rand, which is now South Africa's largest gold-producing area. In 2007, China overtook South Africa by producing 276 tons of gold beating South Africa for the title of biggest gold producer by just four tons of gold. This is the first time that South Africa has not been first in gold production since 1905. Why is Rhode Island called an island even though it's not?
Rhode Island's official name is Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. And includes not only the area of the mainland, the location of the city of Providence, but also four major islands. The largest of these islands is named Rhode Island, from which the state gets the first part of its name. What was the baby boom? Due to post-World War II prosperity, there was a boom in American births between 1946 and 1964. Now referred to as the baby boom. During this time, approximately 77 million babies were born in the United States. A very large number compared to that of other time spans. As the baby boomers approach retirement age, health and welfare services for the elderly will become high. Priority as the country prepares for a higher proportion of older people in its population than ever before. Should we use candles after a disaster or power outage? Many deaths and a great deal of property damage have been caused by fires resulting from people using candles following a disaster. People leave candles burning as a source of light, but these can fall over and start fires. It is strongly advised that people not use candles when the power goes out. There are many flashlights and battery-operated lanterns that are available commercially and should be part of your disaster supply kit. What are the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn? The two tropics are the lines of latitude where the sun is directly overhead on the summer solstices. The Tropic of Cancer is at 23.5 degrees north and passes through central Mexico. Northern Africa, central India and southern China. The Tropic of Capricorn is at 23.5 degrees south and passes through central Australia. Southern Brazil, and Southern Africa. What is Land's End? Land's End has quite an appropriate name, as it is a cape at the southwestern tip of Great Britain that is the westernmost point of England, the end of land in the west. What happens when I cross the international date line? If you fly, sail or swim across the international date line from east to west. Such as from the United States to Japan, you add a day, Sunday becomes Monday. When you travel from west to east, such as from Japan to the United States, you subtract a day, Sunday becomes Saturday. What nationalities were the 9-11th's terrorists?
Out of the 19 terrorists who participated in the 9-11 attacks, 15 of them were from Saudi Arabia. Two were from the United Arab Emirates, one was from Yemen, and one was from Morocco. Do things really disappear in the Bermuda Triangle? The Bermuda Triangle, or Devil's Triangle, is a popular legend that suggests a supernatural or paranormal reason for a supposedly large number of missing aircraft and seagoing vessels within its area. The legend generally places the area of the Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic Ocean. With its three corners located at Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Miami, Florida. But you won't be able to find the Bermuda Triangle on a map since it is not a geographically or politically defined area. And its location is solely designated by the legend. Though the legend has circulated for at least a century, there seems to be little evidence that this area is subjected to anything but natural hazards and human error. Most of the evidence for the phenomena in the Bermuda Triangle stems from the disappearance of the five aircraft of Flight 19 in December 1945, as well as a search plane that was sent to find them. Though the popular version of the disappearance of Flight 19 assumes a mysterious end. A mixture of missing navigational apparatus, human error, low fuel, and choppy seas most likely led to the squadron's disappearance and demise. Where is the Putrid Sea? The Putrid Sea, also known as the Sivash Sea, lies to the east of the Isthmus of Perico, between Crimea and Ukraine. It is a swampy area of salty lagoons. <laughs> 